Today we're in Kimbue Shoyu Park and we're going to try shoyu or soy sauce flavored soft cream. The Kimbue Shoyu Park is a themed complex which offers eating, learning, and shopping experiences. like a, a light brown chai color. Doesn't smell like show you. Let's see. Oh. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Soy sauce and soft cream is a perfect combination. This is actually so good. It's like a, a light flavor, but it's full bodied. It's like a good wine, you know? This is literally the perfect soft cream. It's like a dessert -y show you. I've never really tasted anything like this before. 10 out of 10 would recommend coming to Saitama and trying show you flavored soft cream. Now I'm going to try their most popular dish, which is shoyu soft cream. They also have shoyu, strawberry, and plain cake to pair it with. Mmm, this is so good. Okay, I'm going to try the strawberry flavor with some shoyu syrup. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I'm Canadian, but I just might have to retire my maple syrup. Before participating in the brewery tour, we received a brochure-like textbook that reveals all the interesting facts about Shoyu and the factory. The first warehouse we visited was established about 130 years ago and has a deep history. It was originally a place to store the ingredients of Shoyu, which includes soybean, wheat, and salt. In the second warehouse, koji is mixed with salt water to create the moromi. After the moromi is transferred to the fermentation tank and aged for a while, they are filtered, heat treated, and bottled. The two-floor restaurant offers local dishes including udon, and of course, all the seasonings are kimbue sauces. There is also a shop that sells a wide variety of shoyu bottles. And I bought shoyu flavored bomb koan. Okay, today was absolutely incredible. I got to try really delicious soft cream, an amazing lunch, and I got to go on a tour of this factory and I got to actually learn how shoyu is made. I didn't know the intense process that it goes through, how long the fermentation is, but my favorite part, honestly, was connecting with one of the locals. He is a 12th generation shoyu sauce maker, which was really, really, really interesting. I could see the love and passion he has for shoyu, and it makes me want to come back, and it makes me really appreciate soy sauce so much more.